Hey everyone, I know it's not Saturday, which is when Animal Crossing usually comes out. The schedule's a little bit messed up because we had Animal Crossing on Monday because of Halloween. Instead of the episode going up on Saturday, it's going to go up today because the Animal Crossing New Leaf update just came out. So now we have amiibo support and we have all this cool stuff and I wanted to show you guys right away the new stuff that came with it. So... This week's episode is going up today, so don't expect one for Saturday. Just putting it out there. Uh, we'll probably get back on schedule after that until Thanksgiving, you know, or another big event. But yeah, let's uh, let's check this out. Oh, this is a little strange. Isabel, were you sleeping? Mayor, I was just resting my eyes. It's so nice to see a friendly face on the train. The girl on the train. How funny that we just ran into each other like this. It is funny. All right, I have some news for you. Katori has a new drive-in campground. When the camp host approached me, I didn't know his plans were so grandiose. But I think you'll really like it. It's very relaxing and it draws all kinds of fun visitors to town. And one more thing. Now arriving in Katoria, Katoria Station. Well, where was I going? Well, we're here already. Alright, I'm sorry. The voices are not going to be great because I am still sick. It's probably going to take me another, like, week or two to kick whatever is going on in my chest. I'm pretty sure it's bronchitis, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of hard for me to sustain voices, but I will do my best. So, Mayor, getting back to our conversation on the train, our driving campground isn't the only new thing in town. We've also got a new set of town initiatives. Now, I know that sounds like serious business, but these are fun. Kind of like a reward for everyday living. Just go about your day fishing, shopping, catching bugs, and your activities can count toward them. As a reward, you'll earn mutual exchange of wealth coupons, or meow coupons for short. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we just head to town hall together so I can set you up? Okay. Alright, well, there's no need to go inside. We can take care of everything right here. Look, it's a cat machine. First, I have a shiny new TPC to give you. It's compatible with all our new town initiatives. Cool. Thanks. I know you might be attached to your old TPC, but don't worry, this one's just as good. Speaking of new things, you need a new dream address, too. Oh my gosh, I just did the dream... I just did the dream suite... thing, like, two episodes ago. <laughs> Those figures. You can update it at the Dream Suite. Remember to give out the new address, not the old one. Your new TPC still includes your profile, but now it also features info about town initiatives. See new town initiatives in effect every day, completing them to start earning meow coupons. Now I know what you're thinking. Why should I care about earning meow coupons, right? Well, meow coupons are the only way to buy things at the new campground. And the stuff you can buy there is really cool. You won't find it in the shops here in town. Anyway, to collect your meow coupons, you can use this new cat machine, naturally. Sorry, it's technically called the Coupon Allocating Terminal, but you can call it whatever you want. Now just for getting set up with your new TPC, we're giving you 10 meow coupons. So when you get a chance, go check out the new campground and see how they work. You are going to check out the new campground after this, aren't you? Yes, that's the whole point. Oh, of course I need to tell you how to find the place. How silly of me to forget. Just look for that new mark on your town map. It's just off to the side there. All right, that's all for now. Happy camping. Oh, thank you, Isabel. I'm so glad you stopped talking. This is also exciting. I should probably check out the cat machine thingamabob. Probably. Got mail. Okay. Ooh, from Nintendo. All right, let's check this out. Who's this from? Nook's Homes? Nook's Homes now offers blueprints for an all-new secret storeroom. If you can't let go of anything, even your hoarding ways come down to Nook- Oh my gosh! Tom Nook. You understand me. <laughs> he understands me. A secret storeroom? Oh my gosh, if it's, is it gonna be like under my house? Like a secret, secret... Like bunker or something? I am so excited. We have to do that. Okay, what's Nintendo have to say? Yay, you're now playing Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Here's a little something to help you explore all the fun new features of your town. Okay, what is it? What is it? 
It's an instruction manual? What? I wonder if I can actually interact with that. Well, anyway. No, I accidentally deleted part of my, my path. So let's go check out this machine. Welcome, this is your new cat machine. If you've earned Meow Coupons by participating in town initiatives, you can collect them here. Okay. There's none, okay. There's none to collect yet. Alright, so we'll have to like, do stuff, I guess. To, uh, oh, I threw a bunch of stuff on the ground. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, let's go... Let's go check out the... Campground, obviously. Oh, I guess I can't pick that up. Look at this place. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, there's a hippie. What is going on? <gasps> can I sit in the hammock? <gasps> I can. This is awesome. Who's this hippie man? Harvey. Hey, pals. It's your first time here. Well, welcome. Name's Harvey. You can call me Harv for short, or Harv for long. <laughs> oh no, big Harv. Having flashbacks from Telltale's Batman. Plain old Harvey is fine too. Now, some people might tell you that car camping isn't real camping, but I say fooey to that. Get a real nice crowd here. Just lovely people from all over. They come to relax and meet new folks. So don't be shy. Come on by any old time and say hello. Oh, I almost forgot. As the camp host, I run a little shop here too. It's not much, just a humble little outpost. But you're welcome to browse our wares any time. Just one thing, your bells are no good here. We only accept meow coupons. Anyway, nice to meet you, and I hope to see you again soon. Toodles. Okay. What's in your hippie van? Oh my gosh, I can actually go in the van. Children, don't do this in real life. Please don't. It's not, not good. Oh my gosh, the dude is here. Nat. Hey. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Town is quite good. Now the biggest bug fan around. So I can order furniture from him? Oh, look at that floor. That is cute. A pile of leaves. Wow. Sparrows. Oh my gosh, there's actually birds in there. You can put that in your house? That's really cool. And it's. An I thought it was going to be like the bug furniture, but obviously not. So, yeah, he has it all set up in here, like what he's selling. That is pretty snazzy. I want to see how I do amiibo stuff, though. I can't go up there. Do I talk to him? What? What can I do here? It's more like, what can't you do here? Oh, I'm sorry, just a little camp host humor. See now, I can tell you about ordering furniture or give you some more info about meow coupons. Ordering furniture? Well, sure, I suppose my humble little campground has become a popular spot to barter. Most of the folks who camp here are happy to exchange furniture for meow coupons. Just pop your head inside a camper and say hello. Tell them Harvey sent you. Hmm. That's not... helpful. Hey guys, so I looked into the whole amiibo thing, and apparently you need to have Wisp, which is this, like, little ghost genie that lives in a magic lamp. And I don't know how to unlock Wisp. I tried <laughs> a couple different things. And it didn't really work, so I'm not sure how to unlock Wisp. So right now, we unfortunately cannot do anything with Amiibos until I figure out how to do that. There's not much information, obviously, because this just came out. So we'll just have to be patient, but as soon as I do figure out how to unlock it, I'll do that and show you guys the Amiibo support. However, we can do something, and that is we can link our Happy Home Designer data which changes things a little bit, so I definitely want to do that. Guess what? I have an extra special surprise for anyone who has Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. So do you have a copy? Both the retail version and the downloadable version count, so don't be shy. I do. Cool, glad to hear it. So do you have the retail version or the downloadable version? I have, well, technically I have both, but... Got it, okay. In order to get your surprise, I'll just need to check the save data from the retail version. If you have another game card inserted, please remove it and insert Happy Home Designer. Okay. Uh, here we go. This always makes me really nervous. Okay. Put that in. 
I I have. Yep. All right, I found the Happy Home Designer save data. Awesome. Okay, now. Now can you please insert your original Animal Crossing new leaf? Okay. Here we go. All right. Yes, I have. Got it, your Happy Home Designer save data has been registered. So now I'll turn you over to Lottie. The rest is up to her. Oh my gosh, what voice did I give her? I can't remember. I have a couple episodes of Happy Home Designer up if you want to check them out. Uh, I think she was British, I don't remember. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I've got it from here. So first and foremost, thank you for playing Happy Home Designer. I really hope you enjoyed it. And without further ado, here's your first gift. Please take this, Nook's Home's model. We're partnering with Timmy, Tommy, and even Tom Nook of HHA, where I work. So before long, you'll be able to buy special furniture items from my stock right here in Katoria. It's all set up and ready for you to use now. So if something in Timmy and Tommy's catalog strikes your fancy, go ahead and order it. I think that covers it. Again, thanks for playing, and enjoy life here in Katoria. Lottie is so cute. It looks like we have a present from Lottie, and we can order special furniture from the game starting now. Awesome. Okay. So, get out of my... My mail here. Open this up. And it is the Nook's Homes model, like she said she was going to uh, give us. Okay. So let's head up into town. Okay, so I paid off my loan, so we're going to try to get this uh, secret, secret closet thing. The secret storeroom. Add something new? Secret storeroom. I wonder how much this is gonna be. Oh, that's not- that's not bad. Awesome. I'm excited for that. Alright guys, so I did a bit of time traveling. Shh, shh, shh. Just don't say anything. To get the secret storage, I wanted to show it off in this video. So if you go into your house, you get this little, like, garage thing. And look, you have nine pages, but then there's four uh, different things. So, like, 36 pages of storage. Totally worth it. I can't wait to start organizing, like, all my furniture and my clothes and all that stuff. And now I don't feel like I have to sell everything and my house will not be a complete mess of garbage with all this stuff. So I'm very, very happy about this uh, extra storage. I think it was a great idea for Nintendo to add it and probably one of the things I'm most excited about, you know, apart from Amiibo support. But unfortunately, I don't have Wisp yet. So if anybody knows how to get Wisp or has figured that out, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Once I know, I'll make a video right away so that we can start showing off the different amiibo because I have a bunch of them and it's about time I use them. All right, so I went into um, Nook's Homes and Lottie is here now, so that's good because uh, there's a new feature that I wanted to show off. So uh, it's pr I guess it just happens after you do the secret storeroom upgrade. I'm assuming that's how you get this to work. So... All right, uh, yeah, 158,000 bells is totally worth it. I already found it. <laughs> I already found it, Tom Nook! Before you go, I have somewhat a surprise for you. I've noticed that you're quite passionate about acquiring items for the home. Are you calling me a hoarder? As such, there's someone I think you'd like to meet. This is we. I've already met her. I worked for her, man. I hope you'll allow me to help you make best use of what you have and to share my love of decorating. I've already prepared a space for the seminar, so head on over. I do hope you're ready to have fun and work hard. Yes, yes. Of course. So this is another amazing feature that they added. I'm very excited about it. Are you ready? Because it's time to do some interior design. Let the training begin. Okay, let's start with a quick lesson on how to rotate furniture. 
All you have to do is gently tap the block on the touchscreen to alter the orientation of the furniture. This technique will work for any furniture you place on the floor. Ready to give it a try? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Perfect! Your instincts are spot on. Next, I'll show you how to reposition furniture. Simply select the furniture you'd like to move and drag the block to a new place on the diagram. Decisions, decisions. Now why don't you try to move some of the furniture in this room? You did it! Well done! That's great! You're a quick learner, aren't you? You can move furniture that's hung on the wall in the same way. This will be easy for you. Give it a try. Okay. Doot. Exactly! My, my! You're natural! Next up, we have some small furniture that can be placed on top of larger pieces of furniture. Using the skills you've just learned, how about you give it a whirl? Okay. Doot. Yes, we have Happy Home Designer controls now for our homes, which is going to make things so much easier because, holy crap, it's really annoying to try to place furniture in your house. So this is an awesome new feature that they put in the update, and I'm very happy about it. There's another technique you should try once we finish up here. It's a bit more advanced. So if you draw a square around multiple pieces of furniture, you can move them all at the same time. Keep in mind, you won't be able to move all that furniture at once if your ticket gate is open. Wouldn't that be confusing for guests in your town? Okay. Sweet. Done and done. Now I'm basically a DIY genius. Well, we already knew that, didn't we? Okay, so now, basically, if you just click on this, you can... Oh my gosh, look at my cluttered house. But you can just move stuff around, and it is so much easier to do. That is an amazing feature that they added to New Leaf. Very excited about it. If you haven't picked up Animal Crossing New Leaf, you definitely should. Especially because now they have a Nintendo Selects version, I believe. So it's even cheaper. I think it's like 20 bucks now. New. So... I highly recommend you pick up New Leaf if you haven't yet, because this update is amazing. I can't wait to show off the amiibo support. It's going to be a good time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this update video. There will be definitely be more in the future. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.